Welcome to Nepenthe's math class. I am your teacher, Dominic, and I thought I would show you guys how to write out a complex Nepenthe's name. I wish I knew this in high school, even though I was growing Nepenthe's, did not like put two and two together, um, the order of operations. But if you've ever seen a Nepenthe's name that looks like this, and you're like, what is going on there? I wanted to try, I'm gonna try, to explain just for fun how you would write a complex Nepenthes name out and what the order of operations is. So to explain this hybrid, it's Rocco Bastiana Vici, Rocco Bastiana, Rocco Fusca Spectabilis Trismatiensis. It's the world's longest hybrid so far, created by EP. And how this would begin was with the Fusca Spectabilis. With the order of operations in the Nepenthes naming system, you always start with your parentheses first. And so they had Fusca Spectabilis, and then they crossed Rocco with the Fusca Spectabilis, and then with Trasmadiensis. So Fusca Spectabilis, parentheses, Rocco was crossed with Fusca Spectabilis, so you have the square bracket. So then they crossed Rocco Fusca Spectabilis, this hybrid, with Trasmadiensis, and then they bred it with other things. So once you get past the parentheses, you go into your square brackets, and then after that, would come your braces or little whale tails. So Rocco Fusca Spectabilis TM um, Exotica crossed with this female Rocco Bashiana. So to put these two together, like I said, you put your whale tails and then you would put it back inside of parentheses. And what that says is I have this hybrid here, Rocco Bashiana, crossed with all of this so this alone is one hybrid. And then EP got even crazier and they bred it with their Rocco Bashiana Vici. And you could see this hybrid stemmed from Rocco crossed with Bashiana. And then they cross Rocco Bashiana with Vici. So you start with your parentheses, then you go into your square brackets. And then they mushed all this together. So they crossed Rocco Bashiana Vici with this big hybrid here that took forever to make. So once you get an even bigger hybrid like this, you're gonna start over. So this hybrid here, you start over with your parentheses and that closes this all in as one hybrid. And I'll try to write out some, this is probably so confusing, but I thought it would be fun. But I'm gonna show you now like the process of starting from the beginning um, with something else. So let's say EP did truncata crossed with Loei. And then that is the hybrid they had, um, Truncata Loei. Then say they got their Truncata Loei and they crossed it with Vici. To add it to something, you would immediately have to put it in parentheses to signify that that alone is a hybrid. And then you would cross it. Let's cross it back with Loei. This sounds nice. So you'd have Truncata Loei cross Loei. And remember the female parent always goes first. So let's say we have Truncata Loei cross with Loei. We get our seeds, they grow up, and they're called Truncata Loei cross Loei. And then I breed it with Vici. So you would have Truncata X Loei cross Loei. And then you're going to add it to Vici. So I have to let um, growers know that this is a hybrid by itself. So then you would get into your secondary system, which is your square brackets. So this is one hybrid. That's what this is telling me. And we're gonna cross it with Vici. So being a grower, I can tell this is my female here. This is one big hybrid. Then I went and crossed it with Vici. And let's say this flowered the next day and now I'm gonna breed it <laughs> again. Um, to close this off, like I said, you're going to go into your tertiary step or your third step, and you're going to use your squiggle brackets or braces, they're called. So this is now one big hybrid that I'm going to cross with something else. And let's say we're going to add it to Maxima. So I have this huge hybrid cross with Maxima. Let's just say I'm gonna add something else. Woohoo! You would then begin all the way, you would go all the way back to the beginning with your braces, or your parentheses, I'm sorry. 
right back to the beginning. This whole thing, I'm now gonna cross with Lowy Eye again. So I have this big hybrid, cross with Lowy Eye, and then you're just gonna keep going. I hope this kind of gave you an idea. This was probably so confusing and weird, but I hope it gave you an idea of what you're looking at when you're looking at all this mumbo jumbo. And hopefully it will help you when you're making your own hybrids. I'm Dominic Ravine here at Red Leaf Exotics where we love Nepenthes. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you soon for another fun video. Thank you.